Well, we will use our tools, including the asset purchase program, deviating uh, temporarily from the capital keys if necessary, in order to support uh, the euro area and to avoid any dislocation risk. There's no question in my mind that we should be doing that. So there won't be, uh, or you will, in the event there will be fragmentation, you will fight that fragmentation? We have the tools to fight the fragmentations, absolutely, and we will use them. Okay. Uh, let me bring you back to the composition of the additional APP you have announced just today. 120 year million, a billion euro, I should say, until the year end. Will that be uh, yeah, sort of a pro rata approach per month, or can you deploy them as you wish? And will it be mainly the private sector? We have full flexibility. So um, there is no predefined monthly amount we can assess the needs, the risk, and how we can best deploy the tools that we have. So no preset amount. That's flexibility number one. Flexibility number two, we will assess the risk and where we need to intervene. If it is in the public sector, if we see a risk of, uh, of a dislocation, of fragmentation of any kind, obviously we will deploy that tool in direction to this risk. And as I said, if it needs deviating temporarily from the capital keys, we will do so as well. Looking ahead, so you have done quite a lot now when it comes to monetary policy. What is left is, for example, buying equities sort of a last resort or a pos or is it thinkable for the ECB? For the moment, we can buy on the secondary market um, corporate bonds, and, and we are doing that. Now, there is a limit to how much um, you can buy. There's a feasibility issue, which uh, clearly is, uh, is, is upon us, and we, we cannot uh, do so in, in massive amounts. So we deploy our APP both in the public sector uh, and in the private sector, but clearly the, the latter is, uh, is not that ample and that deep that we can, uh, we can massively uh, intervene in that, in that particular market. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.